Xi Jinping noted that new technologies are the key to modernizing the armed forces. Laser weapons have become a key priority in China's defense agenda. Over the past few years, China has been very actively engaged in the development of laser weapons. Aircraft carriers have long been seen as symbols of maritime supremacy and global power projection. For China, its presence is not only about strengthening the navy but also a tangible expression of the country's ambition to establish itself as a leading maritime power in the Indo-Pacific. Over the past two decades, China has succeeded in building and operating carriers with technology that increasingly approaches the standards of world powers, even introducing unique innovations that set them apart. China's journey began with the Liaoning, its first aircraft carrier, reconstructed from a former Soviet vessel. Though considered a prototype, the Liaoning served as a floating laboratory for training pilots and crews while developing carrier operation doctrines. This was followed by the launch of the Shandong, the country's first domestically built carrier, which marked a milestone in the independence of its naval defense industry. The pinnacle came with the launch of the Fujian in 2022, a next-generation carrier weighing around 80,000 tons and equipped with an electromagnetic catapult system MLS, placing it on par with the latest US Gerald R Ford-class carriers. The Fujian marks a major leap in China's ability to project air power. With its MLS technology, it can launch J-15 fighters, 5th-generation J-35s, and KJ-600 early warning aircraft more quickly, with heavier payloads and greater efficiency than older ski jump systems. This advantage allows for sustained air operations and prepares China to face modern warfare scenarios. The carrier's design also reflects a more advanced approach, featuring a full flat deck, sophisticated phased array radar, and an integrated electric propulsion system that enables more flexible energy use, including the potential for future directed energy weapons such as lasers. Xi Jinping noted that new technologies are the key to modernizing the armed forces. The Chinese leader discussed with the military ways to achieve the goals set in the field of state defense and army construction, and the implementation of the 13th Five-Year Plan for the Development of the Armed Forces. Laser weapons have become a key priority in China's defense agenda. Chinese scientists and technologists have been thinking and working on the laser weapons problem for a long time. Since the 1970s, industry and the military have laid the groundwork for seriously figuring out how to achieve practical power levels, how to control the beam, and how to deliver laser radiation over significant distances. The Ministry of Defense officially recognized lasers as a likely weapon of the future back in that century, marking the beginning of official research and development. The Chinese military plans to receive a universal laser module, which in the future will be able to become a tactical naval, land-based and air-based missile defense system. The air defense will be able to intercept incoming missiles and engage and neutralize enemy aircraft during aerial combat. The significant advantages of laser weapons systems over missiles and firearms make them indispensable tools for aerial combat. Aviation laser weapons will be able to provide not only protection from missile attacks from the ground and from the air, but also air superiority for Chinese aviation during aerial engagements. Over the past few years, China has been very actively engaged in the development of laser weapons. Currently, Chinese military efforts focus on a more compact and more practical air defense system that can be mounted on a land or sea vehicle, as well as on a suspension carried by an airplane. According to the Chinese military, the tactical air defense based on modern solid-state technology is approaching its final reasonable appearance. Currently, the leadership of the PLA Armed Forces is actively exploring how to integrate laser systems into existing weapons systems. A Chinese television program recently also claimed that China has already developed a prototype of a 100-kilowatt aircraft laser weapons. It pointed to a document entitled A Study of Energy Storage and a Power Source for Airborne Weapons, in February, at the International Defense Exhibition and Conference in the United Arab Emirates, China demonstrated its Silent Hunter laser system, which is capable of disabling vehicle engines at a distance of 1 mile and has a power of up to 70 kilowatt. The significance of China's aircraft carriers lies not only in technology but also in geopolitics. 
Their presence provides Beijing with the ability to project power across the South China Sea, the Indian Ocean, and the Western Pacific. This aligns with its ambition to develop a blue water navy capable of protecting trade routes, supporting military diplomacy, and exerting strategic pressure on neighboring countries as well as major powers like the United States and Japan. Carriers also serve as a tool of soft power. Their participation in joint exercises or port visits signals that China is no longer merely a regional power but is moving toward becoming a global naval power. Yet challenges remain. Operating carriers requires long-term experience, complex logistics, and overseas bases, which China still lacks. Compared with the United States, which runs 11 nuclear-powered carriers, China is still laying the foundation. Even so, given the speed of its defense industry, many analysts believe that within the next two decades, China could rival the US in carrier capability. In this sense, China's modern carriers reflect the nation's ambition to stand alongside the world's leading maritime powers. From the Liaoning to the Fujian, the progression is striking, from a learning platform to a producer of high-tech carriers. Their value lies not only in innovations like emuls and modern designs but also in the strategic and geopolitical weight they carry as instruments of China's transformation into a global power. The Fujian is China's most advanced carrier, weighing about 80,000 tons. Its main feature is the use of emuls, making it the first non-nuclear carrier in the world with this technology. It can launch fifth-generation J-35 fighters, KJ-600 early warning aircraft, and combat drones. Thus, the Fujian is a major leap for China and a symbol of its maritime transformation. The carrier's design also reflects a more advanced approach and an integrated electric propulsion system that enables more flexible energy use, including the potential for future directed energy weapons such as lasers. China has revealed its new LY-1 high-power laser weapon during its biggest military victory day parade yet in Beijing, marking the system's first official appearance. Although mounted on an eight-wheeled HZ-141 vehicle, the laser is reportedly intended for shipboard self-defense. The size of the land-based version shown in the parade indicates room for larger power units, hinting at potential for higher output levels. Its turret carries a single large beam aperture supported by smaller electro-optical and infrared sensors for targeting, while a box-like module may house radar and passive radio frequency sensors. Unlike traditional interceptors, the LY-1 draws solely on onboard power, enabling low-cost engagements and near-unlimited firing capacity.